In this video, I'm going to show a quick demonstration of uh, linking to a Google font on a web page. So I just have a basic web page here, nothing to it, a header, a paragraph. When I look at it, I just get my default font. It might be Times New Roman or something. Okay. So I'm going to Google Google font and find the Google font page. And then I can um, get back to that in a minute. Um, there are, there's just some set of fonts. It's uh, searchable. Maybe I want a, a monospace font or something. So I can do some searching and then pick a monospace font. I'll do this one, it'll be clear beyond clear if I got this one successfully. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I decide if I want it. So I can either, if I, if I don't have it, I'll say select and get it. And if I do have it and decide I don't want it, I can say remove, but I'm going to say select. So I'm selecting it. And then up here, and there is this uh, icon for view the selected families. That took me a while to find. It's a shame to say, okay. And then it gives you down in here the, the link for that file and then how to use it in, in CSS. So I'm going to grab these and put them up here in my head, pasting that in. And then I'm going to create a, a style. I'm going to make this the style for the entire body. And then I'm going to put the that's down here in the body in this monfet. I think my have a one one selected paste is Monfet. Is this Monfet? Oh, this is Monofet. Okay. All right. So there is Monofet. It's the font family for the body. It's calling that cursor style. I thought it was a monospace style. Um, and here's what I added. Here's what Google told me to add. These links, one, two, three. And here's my style. And I'm going to, I should of course save it. And then view it in here. Uh, here it is. That font is a little bit small. So let me come in here and put the font uh, size uh, up. I can also, when I bring down the font, I think do some uh, size controlling, but I can just also control it here. Let's say extra extra large. Let's save it there. So this that is me as it says linking to a Google font, bringing down a font, um, using it on the page. You can also um, download and get the um, probably a TTF. I could have brought down the, the, the true font file, the true type font file, the TTF, and put that uh, next to my HTML. So I have my, and then, uh, so where here's my font demo. I could have put the, the TTF next to that. And then, um, and then, connected to the file in sort of the URL, but I wanted to demo, in this case, uh, bringing it, doing the link to it, keeping it up, up in the, up in the, up in the cloud, if you will, uh, at Google. So using the Google API to bring down a font. So this is sort of a, an API link that is getting us to that font. And here's me using that font on the page. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention.